Stand by, guys. Yeah, cut it. Jinali what I come in the anger, then on the place and July we know. Jinali what I come in the anger, then on the place and July we know. And I found ya eating my asim and diwana. Zira and I found ya eating my eh eh. Jinali wo tai ko mai de de anga le londa pezo njila ya bwino Jinali wo tai ko mai de de anga le londa pezo njila ya bwino Zira ya ngai pamba ya ire ma asima kandi Introducing the distinctive voices of Howard Musonza and the beautiful Samantha Rosare as they take you through this week's hot takes with heavy debate and lively conversation on the couch. Yes, 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 that's right. You're in the right place. You did not make a wrong choice at all. This is the couch on ZTN and the music. Oh, my goodness. It's the one and only bell, and the song playing in the background is titled Angela from his latest album, Hatiz Mirire. Mm, thanks for joining us on the couch. This is where we discuss all things trending sports stories, and this is the season of the 2019 Afghan finals in Egypt. I'm Samantha Rosare. And our main focus has been the Zimbabwe football national team, the Warriors, and their participation in Group A. The Warriors lost to the first game 1-0 to the hosts of Egypt, and today they face Uganda. Yeah, today they face Uganda, yeah. Mm -hmm. Samantha, welcome to the show. We are used to Shamein Chesweka, but she is not I'm, here today. I'm happy to be here. You are happy to be here? Yes, I well, am. Mm, we are also happy to have you here. All you right. can follow us uh, along, interact with us through the Facebook page, Zim Papers TV Network. On uh, Twitter, we are at ZTN Sport. And the big one, of course, is ZTN News. We are also on YouTube and we are simply ZTN. Our main topic today is, should the Warriors coach Sunday Chizambwa make changes to the team that played against Egypt. Should uh, Sunday Chizambwa make changes to the team that played against Egypt? Mm, and Howard, it is never the couch without the couch squad. And today we have Mugovechi Gada, who is a former H Metro senior writer, who is our analyst today, and uh, Mo Moyo, the former Gunners and Baimo striker. Welcome. Oh, thank you. Right. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> we will, of course, be crossing over to one of the couch members, Makomborero Mutimkulu, who is covering the match from for us in Egypt to get all the latest and his views. Mugove, it wasn't the results we were waiting for last week. We weren't looking forward to that one uh, from Egypt. Yes, most week. definitely not the result that we were looking for. But yeah. uh, at the end of the day, we, we minimize the damage. It will help us as we go on. Mm, more. Today, we will be holding you to account. You remember that team that you gave us last week? Oh, yeah. And even the scoreline that oh, you yeah. gave us? Oh, yeah. So, I, I don't know. What, what do you think of what happened uh, before we talk about your team? <laughs> the result was not expected, uh, was not the one we wanted, but it was something that we expected. Oh, yeah. You expected that? I, I expected that. A loss to... Egypt, seven times champion. It's just Zimbabwe. Mm, but then coming to the team, I think um, from the team that I selected, my biggest letdown would be Munetsi and uh, Knowledge Musona. Yeah, they didn't come to the party, but 
On a good day, we all know what they can do. Mm, don't so don't steal happens. the thunder. We will go deep into that. We're <laughs> going to discuss all that and uh, probably you give us uh, player ratings and all. But you guys are looking very smart. Well, thanks to For Me, uh, who else could do this? So, is this some kind of a uniform? This is the reason why I'm on the couch today. <laughs> One of the main reasons uh, I just had to be dressed up for me. All right, you're watching the couch on ZTN. Stay with us as we discuss the Warriors showdown with Uganda. But before that, we'll give you some news from Egypt. We kick off with her Tuesday night's results as reigning Africa Cup of Nations champions Cameroon got the defense of their title off to a winning start with a 2-0 win over Guinea-Bissau. In Group F's other game, Benin provided one of the surprise results of the 2019 Africa Cup of Nations thus far as they held Ghana to a 2 all draw. The Black Stars, who, who played more than a third of the game with just 10 men, already find themselves two points off the pace of Group F leaders Cameroon. Yeah, there was uh, some kind of a surprise result that we saw in uh, that later game uh, in uh, Group F. Now on to the Warriors. A big blow for Zimbabwe's marvelous Nakamba will miss today's Group A, a game against Uganda at the Cairo International Stadium. Uh, star midfielder sustained a knock in training on Monday and might not even make it for the final group game against the DRC. Meanwhile, indications are that their players will play tonight despite demanding their balance of for $2,500 per player for appearance fees. So the team I did train last night and our man in Egypt, Makombarado Mutimukulu, was there. Shukran Jazila now at Central. I'm saying thank you very much for joining me at the Scorching Cairo International Stadium. What we're going to talk about, yes, you asked me how the mood it is in camp. Look, the boys are focused. They want to win this one. They played war well against Egypt, but they did not win. They did not score a goal either. And they know that failure to win this one, especially a defeat, will spell doom for their 2019 Africa Cup of Nations campaign. But look at it this way. There is no that noise that is going on. The boys are just focused. They are tense. They are focused. They know this is a game they need to win. But you look at it and say Uganda have been making a lot of noise on Twitter. Dennis Onyango says he knows a lot about the Warriors. He was telling his defenders how to stop Kama Billiard. And Kama Billiard has hit back saying we know also about Dennis and how we need to win. But also the other issues we've got injuries. The keeper is out, he's injured. So who is coming in? George Kova is coming back from suspension. Marvelous Nakamba is injured. So who is coming in? Jenny Jacobiri was looking solid and strong at training. He's also coming in. Up front, Nyasha Musheku is injured. Who is coming in? Chino Kadewere. A hungry Chino Kadewere says, I, like, I want to call the other time. But you guys said, I'm always, always dressing well and speaking well, but not scoring goals. So in terms of the money issues, yes, there was talk about money. But the minister came through and also the Ziva president came through and that issue was sorted. So come 7 p.m. tonight in this massive, massive stadium, the Warriors are geared up. They know this is a game they need to win. They must win it. From the Cairo International Sports Stadium, I'm Makombo Ramjim Kulu for the couch. Thanks a lot to Makombo Rero, live from Egypt, uh, just getting ready for that game between Zimbabwe and uh, Uganda. So he talks about Mugabe. He talks about uh, uh, the introduction of uh, the players that are coming into the team. I know we're going to go into that, uh, you know, in detail. But uh, Marshall Munetsi has been dropped and uh, there is Danny Piri and uh, Nakamba is injured. But I think question marks are on there. The injury on Nakamba. I think it's a big blow for Zimbabwe. Uh, look, he's one of the biggest players that we have. He's playing at a very high level. But uh, at the same time, uh, Danny Deco Piri will not disappoint. I didn't want him for the game against uh, Egypt. The reason being, he, he tend to, to consider a lot of uh, set pieces in terms of his type of play. He's the kind of player uh, who allows the ball to go, but you never really pass through but him. But he was the main guy in the qualifiers. Yes, he was the main guy, but every game has got, his own, uh, has got a certain man for that game. <laughs> and uh, in this case, I think Deco against Uganda 
very um, attacking team. You really do wonders for us. All right. It can never be football without the fans. <coughs> and on that note, there was drama in the build-up to Zimbabwe-Egypt encounter where Zimbabwe fans reportedly are being logged out for almost two hours by Egyptian officials. The fans who were already inside the stadium ahead of the game were told to leave their seats and watch, uh, wait outside while the officials looked for alternative bays to house them. Let's hear the fans speak. Let's just hope that uh, will not be the case again for the fans that traveled to Egypt. But on the Uganda side, the East African nations are in high spirits after they dismissed DRC to nil in their opener. They are largely expected to retain the same team that played DRC and they have no injury worries. Yeah, it's a good thing that there are no injury worries there, but uh, should Sandwich Zambwa make changes to the team that lost to Egypt? And if any... What are the changes? Join the discussion on our Facebook page, Zim Papers TV Network. You can also watch from our other platforms, ZTN on YouTube, or on our website, ztn.co.zw. And when we come back, we start with the player ratings from Egypt game, from the Egypt game, and then discuss in detail the Uganda game. Stay with us as Mbewu continues to serenade us with good music. <laughs>
auna ma kana weropa ari pejgo newe kana ukarwara shamari yangu ujajengetwa nani auna ma kana weropa ari pejgo newe kana ugava ujali bwana niko Hamazo se wakapedza ne kuchinyira Hamazo se dzagaenda waidzidadira Hamazo se wakadzidzinga wega Ah Ah Hamazo se wakapedza ne kuchinyira Hamazo se dzagaenda waidzidadira Beautiful music from Mbeu. So I understand last week, Mbeu, you had a prediction on Egypt and you thought that uh, you had predicted that it was going to be a 1-0 win in favor of the Warriors, but it went the other way around. What do you think happened? Yeah, I was, uh, I was quite disappointed because, you know, I had so much confidence uh, in that game, Kutitisha Wina. But uh, you know what? It happens. You know, at least Takaji go 1-0 at Nauzo Jiwa 10-0. At least we have a... We have a chance here to say we can um, we can pull through among my games as Sarah and hopefully today we we, we win. Yeah, we're yeah. all hopeful. Now you are watching the culture on ZTN and we are discussing the Warriors of Zimbabwe ahead of the Uganda showdown. I was from now. Now before we go deep into that, we get player ratings from the last game from one of the couch squad members, Makumborero Mutimkolo. So before you have a Sandy Chizamwa is here with his voice. As they are changing, he uses this tactical ball to tell them how they are supposed to play, where they are supposed to go. Against Egypt, the biggest problem in Zimbabwe was they did not score, but they played well. Everything in the middle of the park there with Magda Nakata and Marshall is doing the job. He as a keeper was doing the job. But this is where we had a problem, where Yasha and Sheikh was immobilized. They had a problem. The doctors were assessing and see how it goes, but the belief was silent is that everything will go according to plan when we play Uganda. Because Uganda has a big defenders and we have a speed winner. For my player ratings, I give Ed Mosband a 9 out of 10 and my man of the match award. He kept us in the game for a long time. He made some great saves, he gave us confidence. He won't get out of the pitch with a 10 out of 10 because he conceded a goal, sadly so. That's the life of a goalkeeper. Today, Derek, I give him a 6 out of 10. It was a decent outing for him. A decent Afghan debut, but I think he could have been better, especially in terms of reaction after lo knowledge Msona had lost possession there and Trezeg went on to score. I like Mdima and Tine Jade, but like I always say, they operate in pairs. Both of them, I give them a 7 out of 10 because centrally they kept things tight. Divine Lunga at left back, I give him an 8 out of 10. Specifically for the job that he did on Mo Salah. Why is he not my man of the match? He's not my man of the match because going forward, Divine was not Divine. Marvelous Nakamba, 7 out of 10. He kept it tight in the middle of the park there. He made sure that things went according to plan. Masha Omunetsi, 6 out of 10. I thought with El Nene moving sometimes out of position. With Tarek Ahmed also venturing wide and left. There was move for Munetsi and the room also to exploit, but he did not. Ovidi Karuru, 6 out of 10, was in the center of midfield. There was space to exploit, but for Ovidi, he tended to drift wide. He looked for the boy who was desperate to impress, but it did not come out right. The skipper had a horrible game by his standards. 5 out of 10. Knowledge Msuna was not in it. He knows it. We all know it. Kama Billiard, I give him in a 6. Yes, there are times that he did well for the highlight packages, but he did it in not so dangerous areas. And there were times when he appeared to be a guy who was playing for the whistle. He wanted the referee to blow for free kicks. Sometimes the referee blew, sometimes he did not. And when the referee did not blow for free kicks and infringements on Kama Billiard, the Zimbabwean winger got frustrated. Nyasha Musheku, 4 out of 10, was the worst player in the park. He could have done better. Allah and Agazi, they were not troubled by him. With his size, with his sheer size, we expected more from Nyash. We expected him to keep the ball better. He would tell you that he had a hamstring injury. But if you are injured and you feel it, he told the coaches that I cannot continue. Nyash, I'm sure the worst player on the pitch for me. I know there are areas where Momo will not agree, but those are my ratings.
Yeah, you're right, Macomborero. More and more doesn't agree with you because he was just shaking his hand. I don't know uh, why he was doing that. Tamo, I know you don't agree, but uh, give us give us your your your, your rating. Um, overall, as a team, we played uh, quite well in terms of uh, the defensive application. We we did quite well, but uh, offensively, since we also wanted to get something out of the match, I, I'm not happy about how we applied ourselves offensively. Mm. So Maybe I, I, can, I can focus on uh, probably the defense. Maybe you can start by giving us your, your ratings from the goalkeeper going, going forward. Um, I would give Ed Moss under 8.5. 8.5 out of 10 is because, uh, you know, Ed Moss, within the first 10 minutes, he had saved four chances. You know, four saves in 10 minutes. That's great. He kept us in the, in the game. Everybody can talk about anything else, but this man really was my man of the match. And then Tendai Darikwa, 6 out of 10, I would have uh, expect him, expected him to do more, uh, especially in terms of attack. Uh, he was also a, a little bit slow. I didn't like that from such a, uh, an experienced defender. Marvelous Nakamba, you no know, teenage Hadebe. Teenage Hadebe, very strong. Uh, central defense, Alec Mudimu, very strong. I, both gave them 7 out of 10, played equally the same, and covered very nicely uh, Divine Lunga on the left. Divine Lunga was my second <laughs> man of the match because he got 8 out of 10. I gave him 8 out of 10. Divine Lunga, everybody knows how uh, difficult Salah is to mark, but he did his, uh, his job. So on Ovi Dikaruru, disappointment for me, I, I, I expected a little bit more from him. Knowledge Musona and Marshall Munetsi, 5 out of 10, uh, a, the biggest disappointment, including Nyasha Mushekwi. Yeah, Nyasha Mushekwi, six balls, he lost four. I, I didn't expect that from him when he's supposed to be holding the ball. So, five out of ten, uh, it's, it's okay for so me. So, when I try to, to compare uh, with uh, what Makumborero gave us, uh, he said uh, Nyasha Mushekwi was a huge disappointment and he gave him uh, four out of ten. So, I'm looking at... Uh, all this, and we're supposed to be playing as a team. I know, you know, the captain made a blunder, which resulted in the goal, and he had an off day. But how do you motivate players like that for the next encounter? Um, motivating players for the next encounter, I would say if uh, Nyasha Msheku was fit today, I would not start him. I would not try to motivate him. Um, I would, I would make a complete change because he was completely off, off, off. Uh, his strength is holding up, uh, holding up play. He wasn't doing that. So oh, why, Duma, we, Duma Manu. Ah, why did we get out of Kuduma Duma Manu? We got nothing out of that. So there was no need for us Kuduma Duma Manu. We could actually play. So I, w I wouldn't want to motivate him out of... Uh, I would just drop him completely. Mugo, you are a neutral person in all this. Uh, Marco gave us his ratings. Mo gave us his ratings. What do you think? Between the, these two guys. Well, I'll, I'll try to be very objective, uh, Howard. Uh, look, Nyasham Shekwi is a fantastic player. Um, and I don't see any opposition giving him one defender who will take care of him. At, uh, at most, it has to be two defenders. And uh, the reason why Kamabili had a lot of space it was because there was a lot of attention on Nyasham Shekwi. There's no way you can have one defender marking Nyasham Shekwi. So to a certain extent, yes, you're giving him four out of ten, but you never really know what he gave us in terms of the attention that he was getting from the opposition. Then the other thing that we have to look at is that Nyasham Shekwi, yes, he's a fantastic player, but do, do we have people coming from the wings that can really cross the so ball So give him? us the rating for Nyasham Shekwi out of ten. I, I think uh, I'll give him um, a six. My God. Ah, this guy. <laughs> <laughs> for, too for, much. For really taking away some of the defenders that could have actually caused he problems for us. He never took anyone yeah. away. He was stuck in the center of the of the defense, of the, the, the speech, the whole match. Alone. 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 All, he, 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 <laughs> he never moved away from the center. So how did he take away any defenders? That guy did not perform. Simple. 
Anyway, now we know that Sunday Zambo already has the first 11 that will face Uganda tonight. But we look at the options that he has going into this game. So this is the option that we've got. Uh, I know these guys were not agreeing on uh, uh, probably Nyasha Mushekwi. We'll find out if they agree on uh, this option that we've got. I know we will talk about the probable, but uh, this is what we've got. Uh, obviously, Edmo Sibanda is injured, so he is not not part of uh, that uh, team and uh, in comes George Chugoa who was suspended for the first game against um, against uh, Egypt so the coming in of, of Chugoa let me start with you Mugobi uh, what does he give us that we didn't get from uh, Edmond Siban well uh, Chugoa was involved in most of our qualifiers uh, uh, perhaps he gives us uh, that uh, connection that he had with, the, you remember the counterattacks that uh, he was actually initiating when we played uh, um, DRC, when we when we played even the last match. I, I think it, it will really be about uh, delivery, uh, those fast attacks. But uh, not to take away anything away from the keeper, Ed Mosbanda had a fantastic game. And if it was my choice, and if Ed Mosbanda was fit for today, I would have started with Ed Mosbanda. Yeah, the back four. No changes there. I think we all agree on, on, on that. Divine had a divine game. Uh, you look at uh, the, 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 the debut game for Tendai Darikwa. I think he was on point. But let's go to the midfielders. Marshall Monetti, Danny P, Ovidi Karuru. These are the guys that we are hoping to be in the team. What do they give us on any given day? For Marshall Monetti, I think he, need to pick, he, he needs to pick himself up from... Uh, Last uh, the last match, he didn't do so well. He needs to be combative. He needs to get into the box. He needs to uh, pass those balls, uh, those critical passes. For um, Danny Piri, Danny Piri is there just to do the dirty work. Crunch tackles is this guy who smiles when he is uh, given you a, a boot on the on the nose. He, he doesn't he doesn't do any sorry. So when he's there, he kicks you. Ovid Karuru is has to be more creative. He has to be more creative. He has got to give us more chances. He was doing uh, a good marking job, but uh, none, no, no creativity. So this is just an option more. Yeah. You were a striker during your heyday. Yeah. You've got a guy like Ivan Rusike. Is he the guy that we can trust to, to get us the goals? Probably who can deliver more than Yasha Mushekwi? I think so. He's got good first, uh, first ball control. He's got good movement off the ball. So he creates a lot of uh, uh, opportunities. He's the guy who can uh, support play from either wing. He can actually go there and actually deliver. He's someone who can uh, hold the ball, turn around and dribble. Mm. So he's someone I, I would prefer as a number nine. Briefly, Mugo, do you agree with this option? Well, I would have um, uh, wanted uh, Tino Kadewere. Tino Kadewere joins in the play f right from, uh, from deep and... Uh, he, 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 on his day, can actually give us goals. I know Momo will not agree with me. He, he, he had a lot of bad days. And I think this is the moment if he is to be given a chance to really redeem himself and uh, uh, prove that he is such a quality player. Mm. Now, when we come back, we will look at the probable Uganda lineup. Stay with us as Mbeo continues with more music.
Andi kurambize kuputa mogo Asi wakaramba uri pauri Andi chata uri nekutiza uri Zirikundira mbira chimbuzi Jarira mba wakatangira Arima baby aywa Andi chata uri Tulina mutu sikana tuzivisha uri Panaguri kukiriki ya uchasha uri Uchachi wana Oye Chimbada undochi waza Zanza za kozi zere tina iwe Jamba kutwa Anka one kwa nimbonje Pa uma nimbonje Pa uma nimbonje I must say, Mbeo, this is one of the songs that I really like, you know, from Thank you very <laughs> your <much>. collection. <laughs> you know, Chimbada Unochi Wanza. Yeah, uh, I don't know, what are you saying here? Uh, Chimbada Unochi Wanza is a, a song, you know, Tsura. I found a way to dig my name, so I could hear. When we were all up, we were all up, we were all up, we were all up, we were all up. Tino zo pesa rata kuchinja because of the fact ye influence ya tino sangana na yu society. So I'm saying chimbada unuchu wanza kutu zanyanya chitu zogira back to the old way. So I need you because you are doing this job for the community. Yes. Yeku tsura. Yes. 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 Well. Nice, I can't well wait for that. Yeah. Well, to get a clearer picture on the possible outcome of uh, this match that we're talking about against Uganda, we should try and look at how Uganda are likely uh, to line up. I think in uh, goal, they've got uh, the big uh, Sundowns goalkeeper, Denis Onyango. The defenders, Davis Mugabe, Godfrey Walusumbu, Hassan Wasa, uh, Murushidi Juko, and the midfielders, Michael Aziri, uh, Khalid Aucho, Farouk Mia, strikers, uh, Lumala Abdu, and uh, the deadly combination of uh, Emmanuel Oki and uh, Patrick Kadu. Those are the guys that scored against the DRC. So I'm looking at this squad. No changes whatsoever. They are cruising and uh, they are ready for Zimbabwe. Yes, it's unlikely, how that they're going to change a winning team. And um, I think of uh, particular note is Farouk Mia. Uh, remember, all the set pieces came from him. And he is a player that is very experienced in as far as um, Uganda is concerned. And uh, uh, that is where I think uh, if Danny Piri is going to start today, needs to be very careful because Danny Piri, the ball, like I said, goes and the man doesn't, doesn't, doesn't go. He, he's that kind of player who's, who's very solid when it comes to, to defending on those counter-attacks. But he should minimize the, the, the set pieces that he can concede to at the edge of the box because that Farouk Mia is the most dangerous player in that Ugandan team. Mm. We watched that game uh, between uh, the DRC and uh, Uganda. And I yeah. noticed a bit of physicality on the side of the Ugandans. Are we ready for that? Um, we are. We are very ready for that. We, we play clean. Besides uh, Danny Piri and the two center bigs, we, we, we play very clean. But I think... Uh, are you saying those three are not... Uh, they, they are not that clean. Okay. They really get into those, <laughs> those crunch tackles. But uh, coming to Uganda, you know, I think uh, what I saw when they played DRS is that uh, they work as a team. They work as a team. It's more of uh, the workmanship of the whole team, not specifically the strikers or the danger men he's mentioning. I also want to mention that uh, it's difficult to breach the team yeah, because the goalkeeper is very, very, very good. He was once Africa's number one. Yeah, voted Africa's local player of the year. So it's, uh, it's not easy to breach. So we should, we should really try hard. Mm. Apparently there was a uh, war on Twitter between Zimbabweans and Ugandans uh, on uh, this match and uh, they were just trading jabs, you know, back and forth. Now, what we did, we asked fans about what they think about Uganda and this is what they had to say. Uh, Uganda will win. Uganda, I'm sure, is going to win that match. We have good players like Dennis Masindo Nyango. We have Mokui. There is Mushi Juko, center forward. Uganda has high chances, but 
Also, Zimbabwe plays well, but I, I cannot say that. It's 50-50, it's actually. Most of the players on the Ugandan team have been in the South African... Uh, did I say that sphere down there? So they are well conversant with the way those guys in Zimbabwe play. Zimbabwe is gone. They will fire Zimbabwe. Oh, hey. yeah, because they can't miss the Ugandan goalkeeper, Denson Yango. We have uh, some young talent that we're looking forward to to beat you guys. But you also have got some old players. Denis Onyango is old. Yeah, th that is our custodian. For him, you know. The better you, the, the more you grow old, the better in the goal, you know. And that was the ZTN team that was recently in Uganda. And they got some interesting feedback there, Howard. And I was on Twitter today and I did um, <laughs> get to see some of the trolling that was happening there between <laughs> Zimbabweans and Ugandans. Did you also join in the I fight? I didn't join, but it was very amusing, hey? It was. I think you can take the fight <laughs> to them right now. I think I will. Now you are watching The Couch on ZTN. And if you are on our Facebook page, it is in Papers TV Network. Our other platforms are ZTN on YouTube and on our website, ZTN.co.zw. Give us what you think ahead of the Zimbabwe and Uganda showdown. Now, in head-to-head -head terms, Uganda and Zimbabwe have met in 14 previous matches. The Warriors have claimed five wins compared to two of the Cranes, while seven games have been drawn. The team's most recent clash was a friendly in May 2016 in Harare, which Zimbabwe won 2-0. Now, does history really matter in this encounter? Mugobe. Well, uh... Ah. I, I remember the last time that Uganda came to, to Zimbabwe, Samantha. Uh, fortunately, it was teenage Hadebe scoring a brace at Trufaro. You remember that game, Howard? Yeah, I remember. Two mm. similar goals. And uh, Hadebe, then he was understudying Costa Namine. So the, the first team players were actually not even in that team. Uh, a lot of things have changed since then. Hadebe has uh, gained a lot of experience. Uh, but... This is a Uganda team that has not changed much. Remember, two of their defenders that are playing in this team are actually clubless as we speak right now. Yes, they have been doing well because they've been playing as a team for a very long time. But in, as far as uh, the quality that we have as Zimbabwe, Hadebe, Alec Mdimu is concerned, they, 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 they can't match us. And in terms of uh, the issue of history, I think the, the figures, they, they tell a story. And I think we are going to remain on top of them. Can we really look at history or we confine it to the dust pits? History is very important. As far as soccer is concerned, Uganda is a small team to Zimbabwe. What, how Egypt looks at, looked at us in the first match is how we are going to look at Uganda. And this is exactly how we are supposed to play. Can I just first come in? 15 can minutes, we should attack and can attack I just come and in attack. Bear more? Yeah. <laughs> DRC, yeah. very big profile in African football. Mm -hmm. And I'm sure they were looking at Uganda the same way you were talking. And look what happened at the end of the day. It was the team, it was the approach on the day. Not <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> what, the, what approach do you have today? We are going to attack them. We, we, we pin them in their own box. Yeah. We are going to make sure that we mark from you know what uh, Chicken Inn does? Yeah. They make sure that you, from your own box, you are not going to kick, you are going to kick long balls. Mm. Right, you can uh, come through on uh, uh, our social media, on uh, Facebook. Uh, the comments I can see, they are coming in uh, from Tangukuvenga. He says, Mahachi Ariba Bench, Anku Popota, on Instagram, and did he agree to a bench warmer? I don't know. Uh, uh, you <coughs> have to say something about that. But Tsinashi Mapuranga <laughs> says, uh, Nakamba is a big loss. Now, Mahachi, discipline, in terms of discipline, it's, uh, it's very unfortunate, uh, uh, Howard, that uh, we don't have Nakamba for this game now. And at the same time, we don't know if Mahachi will, will start or he will start again on the bench. Those two players, they've got a very good understanding. Nakamba probably playing um, on the left side of midfield and uh, Mahachi uh, being an attacking left wing. Uh, they've got a very good understanding. And um, the reality is that we're not going to get any of that. Today, Nakamba, a big loss, but hopefully Tanipiri, Kamsoko, or whoever will be thrown in there will be able to do a good job and uh, we get a result against Uganda. Mo, you were a player during your heyday. Yeah. In terms of discipline, 
I know Zaiku uh, Netzago say discipline is, but <laughs> I just want to hear your view. Uh, a player goes on Instagram because he hasn't taken part in the games. We have only played one game. Mm -hmm. He goes on Instagram and popota um, popota. I would say uh, if I was Mofu, and like Mofu is already doing, he's on the bench already. I don't think he deserves to start. The players that are there in the pecking order, I would still put Chawapiwa ahead of him, either wing, right or left. Chawapiwa on his day, he can do more than what Mahachi can do. Mahachi, I would only put him when we are leading 3 new, 4 new, to spice up the match, you know, do those leg overs, uh, make the fans get into the match. But to start him, he does not deliver that boy. Look at what he was doing at uh, Orlando Pirates. He is the reason why Orlando Pirates were knocked out of CAF Champions League. You know it. When they played Platinum in, uh, in South Africa, missing so glaring chances. He doesn't deserve to start. So why, why do you carry him all the way to Egypt? No, he's a good player. He can be better. So maybe they think he, can, he will improve. But uh, for uh, me, he deserves to be where he is. Yeah, I know, Mugo, you've got a lot to say. Let, let's now look at the key players from both teams. Starting with the Warriors, uh, there is Kama Billiard. He was sensational against uh, Egypt, and uh, it is expected that you have a big say again against Uganda this uh, tonight. Now we 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 have a special. Well, Uganda have some, some sort of a special plan for Kamabilet. Yeah, definitely. After that um, first game against Egypt, he was sensational. He, he showed Africa what he can do. But now to. To go back to what Mo was saying, the only way uh, we have probably Kudamahachi or Chawapiwa getting into that team is probably to have Kama Billiard playing uh, behind the main striker. Because now you have Kama Billiard who's playing on the left side. You already have Msona either on the right side or probably behind the main striker. Or the other option is to have a full striker in the form of knowledge Msona to accommodate Chawapiwa, Kudamahachi and Kama Biliat at the same time. So those are the options that we have. But most definitely Uganda will have to have a special plan for, for, for Kama Biliat. He's on top of his game. On any day he can actually decide the game. Is it that important? I was watching that game against Egypt, Kama Biliat. He was dribbling. Yes, we, we, we were all happy with what he was doing. But I thought mm. it was for the cameras, not really to aid Zimbabwe as we were searching for an equalizer. Because the pressure that he was putting, the dribbling, it was not in dangerous areas. Yeah, because he was, he was supposed to mark as well. You cannot have a player like Kama Biliat coming to mark up to our own box and expect him to be in that attacking third. So that is why he was starting from our half uh, dribbling. If we are going to attack today, he should never cross our half, coming to our own half. He should start from our half going forward. You will see that that, that work that he was putting in, he will end up with a goal or something. I will tell you there is no way you can stop Kama Billiard on his day. Whichever plan they put, if they put three, four, five, but you can't stop so him. So I think the big question he's before special. we go to Samantha yeah. is, is today his day? Not his day only. Zim's day. It's our team's day today. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now, the other key player for Zimbabwe is Knowledge Musona. Now, he had a bad game against Egypt, but on this day, he can be a menace on a good day. Now, we talked to fans in Harare again, and this is what they had to say about Knowledge Musona. Knowledge Msona was Zimbabwe's top scorer in the AFCON qualifiers, but against Egypt he fell short amid indications that he was not fully fit. But now the Warriors' captain has come under fire after the mistake that he made that cost the Warriors' match against the Egyptian Pharaohs. <laughs> Now we are in the streets to speak to some Warriors fans to find out which is the perfect position for knowledge Musona. So these are views from the streets of Harare uh, from our reporter there, Itai Mutiniri. Now going on to social media, we can see your comments coming on our uh, Facebook platform, Zim Papers uh, TV network. And Tadjuku uh, Venga says, Panakam Sokwapo Mofu Atinyebera.
Yeah. That I Chitakasha says I agree with Momoy. I'm not sure, sure which parts she agrees with <laughs> Momoy. But yeah, this is what's happening. Uh, you can come through on uh, Twitter as well. We are uh, at ZTN uh, Sport, and the big one is ZTN uh, News on uh, Facebook, uh, Zimba, Zim Papers uh, TV Network. Now, for Uganda, the first key player is Dennis Masinde Onyango. How good is he going to be? for this game against uh, the Warriors of Zimbabwe. So, yeah, that's uh, Dennis Onyango. Africa number one in 2016. Mm -hmm. Picked Kama Billiard to that converted, uh, uh, you know, price. Now we are facing him. I would say, like I said before, uh, you will be probably our biggest barrier to a, a much bigger win. He is very, very experienced. 66 caps is not a joke. Uh, he has been playing uh, in Africa Champions League, I think from 2015, uh, Sundowns winning the Champions League uh, or, or being number two. He has been there consistently. So he is a very, very, very good goalkeeper. Mm. But I think when he won, when he won, I, I thought Villiers was uh, the best player. I think the voting was uh, rigged <laughs> somewhere up there. <laughs> I still believe that. And uh, having played with Billiard, I was talking to, to Ovidi. And was telling me, no, you know what? No, uh, uh, Billiard was saying, you know, I, I know this guy from training. I know how to get past him. So I hope he's going to pass that to knowledge and all the other players playing up front to make sure that we really uh, get the goals. Mm. Your hope is also my hope. Mm. Let's just uh, put it uh, probably a bit further. We hope they are going to dribble into the box and... Uh, cause havoc for the Ugandans. Well, the other key player for Uganda is Farouk Mir. How important is he to Uganda? We'll go. Well, like I said, uh, Howard, he's a player who is able to take uh, very dangerous set pieces and uh, we have got to try and uh, avoid conceding uh, set pieces against him. He's a player who can really play in midfield and join the attack well and really give goals um, to Uganda. But at the end of the day, we, we should really look at the, at the bigger picture. You, you look at the players that, uh, that are in Uganda. Most of them are very, very, very offensive. Even one of the central defenders, Wasumba, he is playing in central defen defense. But naturally, uh, at his club, he plays as a defensive midfielder. There are players who are really attack-minded. You look at um, the other one called Mugabe as well, who's playing right, who was playing right back in the last game. He's a player, yes, he's, he's, he's a right-back player, but he is very offensive. So at the end of the day, we have to be ready for an attacking Uganda, but I don't think there will be a lot of goals in as far as uh, this game is concerned. Yeah, he talks about uh, Farouk Mia and uh, how he's dangerous with the set pieces. Mm -hmm. In that game against the DRC, Uganda scored two goals from set pieces. First, it was a corner kick. The other one, it was a free kick. And uh, if they get to get a, 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 a standard situation like that, mm -hmm. we know we are in trouble. But there's another player who was on the score sheet. His name is uh, Patrick Kadu. He's one of the other key players in this Uganda side. Um, I would say, first and foremost... Danny Piri has got to be cautious to consider uh, those uh, free kicks around our box. Secondly, I am not really worried about uh, set pieces in terms of corner kicks. Uh, the coming in of big George Ichigoa, he has, he has improved, I told you. He's coming out for those corners and he's very intimidating. And our two centre backs, uh, they can also take care of those uh, uh, corner kicks. We cannot discount the fact that uh, that player is, uh, is very, very good and very uh, clinical in terms of uh, finishing up. But I think we're ready for them. And we are still talking more about the AFCON and the Warriors right here on ZTN. Stay on the couch.
Mushure me kunge vari buda Kuta ijipita Makaramba, makaramba vachigununa Mushure me kunge vari buda Kuta ijipita Makaramba, makaramba vachigununa But did you know That the Lord Is in control of your life eh, Mama, did you know That the Lord is in control of your life. Hey, Papa, did you know that the Lord is in control of your life? Did you know that the Lord is in control of your life? Hey, Papa, did you know that the Lord is in control of your life? Some inspirational music there from Mbeo that the Warriors, I'm sure, really do need ahead of tonight's match against Uganda. Now, if you are on our Facebook page, Zim Papers Television Network, you can also go on our YouTube platform, and our YouTube platform is ZTN, as well as our website, ztn.co.zw. And, of course, the comments coming in on social media on our Facebook page, that is, are from uh, one from Taku Kuvenga. Who's saying Mahachi Arpa Benj Arku Popota on Instagram and Andy Jovita Bench Woman? We discussed about that, and uh, our couch guests here gave us their views on that. Tinashe Mapuranga as well is saying Nakamba is a big loss, while uh, Danai Shakasha is agreeing with Mo Moyo and his analysis on the players that are going to be on today. Now we're going to take a look at the key battles in this match. Dennis Onyango is a former teammate of Kama Billiard. They are together at Sundowns and obviously there will be some battle of some sort. Kama would certainly want to score against him while Onyango has already indicated that he will tell us uh, or tell his players how to stop Kama. Do you think he has a hold on Kama like that? <laughs> <laughs> well, it's quite, it's quite interesting. Onyango has been uh, quoted as saying, I really know how Kama plays, and I'm going to lecture my teammates on how to stop Kama. I, I don't know <laughs> if, if they will be able to stop Kama, but quite a battle. Obviously, they were at sundowns. They've got uh, scores to settle. Kama Bilia to really go into this game uh, trying to really score one past his former teammate. But at the end of the day, I think Kama has to look at the bigger picture, which is winning the game, whether he scores or he doesn't score. Mm. So, yeah, let's uh, take a look at uh, the other key battle. That's the Alec Mudimu and uh, Patrick Kadu. Um, I think Mudimu is very composed. And uh, the way he carried himself during the Egypt match, uh, I don't think Kadu would, uh, would match him. Even in the how, end, how did he carry himself in that Egypt match? Oh, he appeared as if he has been playing <laughs> like that forever. Confused you know, like that? No, forever. He, he wasn't confused. <laughs> he, he was uh, okay. What he did well for me, he kept his position. You could see he was in control of of uh, of the defense. It's very very important to have a central centre back who can control their defense, because it means that everybody will be mugged. It would mean that Kado would not get all those balls. When it, it happens, he's there to just sweep it off. So I like Mudimu. Now let's take a look at the Group A permutations. You must take note of this. Egypt will qualify for the second round if they beat DRC in the second match. And Zimbabwe will lose automatic qualifications chance if they lose to Uganda, while Egypt pick up a point against DRC. Uganda will be guaranteed a qualification into the second round if they beat Zimbabwe, and DRC will lose automatic qualification to the next round if they lose to Egypt, while Uganda collects at least a point from Zimbabwe. It's very sad. You know, I get depressed when I hear people start talking about permutations. <laughs> you know, it reminds me of that uh, moment. You know, it's always a moment in Zimbabwe. What is some calculator? You're trying to calculate if this gets certain points, if this happens, why do we have to subject ourselves to Howard, that? The permutations as it is now, everything is, we are still in control. As Zimbabwe, we are still in control of our destination. 
So it's about today's game. We need to just win today's game, make sure we get a result against uh, DRC, and we are home and dry. The calculators would start coming out, I think, after today's match. Uh, before today's match, we were still in control. We don't need the calculators. We just need to win today. You are our stats man here, Mugoi. How are you feeling? Well, you, you can't uh, really run away from the permutations, can you? Um, this was a big game against Egypt. They are the hosts in front of 80,000 uh, fans. We minimize the damage. Why is it important? It's important because uh, at least um, four teams that will be <laughs> best placed third. <laughs> I know, I know, I know what you're going to say, Howard. <laughs> no, you four don't. teams. No, you don't. Best position <laughs> at number three. You talk uh, have, uh, they have a chance of qualifying for the second round. And if you're going to lose one nil against uh, Egypt, it means that uh, that team that, that was beaten four by, by Mali, uh -huh. even if they go to number three, they are virtually out because of the, of the goal difference. Okay, let me give you this you, permutation. We, Maybe we, want you can at, we want to look at a situation He's whereby we, we get three points against uh, Uganda. And we still have a chance because if we draw against the DRC in the last game, we, we will certainly go through, I can tell you that. Okay, mm. I, I want you to, 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 to explain the spot. You know, we minimized mm. the damage against Egypt. We mm. got beaten 1-0. Remember, we are going to minimize the damage against Uganda. Who are also going to beat them one nil. No, we no, minimize no, the, the no, damage against, no, against DRC. Uganda. We can't really talk of uh, minimizing the damage. But what I'm telling you is that DRC can actually be beaten three or four against Egypt. That's that's when people are going to appreciate the performance that that, that we put up against Egypt. So it was very important that uh, we minimize the damage, even though we were going. Uh, we wanted a win or perhaps maybe a point, but minimizing the damage against Egypt was very important. Don't put it nicely, Mugo. We really lost against <laughs> Egypt. <laughs> well, the Warriors River is gripped Zimbabwean musicians uh, with uh, these musicians of different genres weighing in uh, to give the Warriors a lyrical lift to spur them to success. Japreza did a song. Amai Titi, a popular comedian, also did something. Amara Brown is in Egypt right now, probably singing for the Warriors. I'm not sure. And, uh, well, there's something for the team from a guy called Gibbs to back. He's a hip hop artist who also did his part. Take a look at this. Musicians of different genres have weighed in to give the Warriors a lyrical lift to spur them to success. Ja Preza has the theme song. Amara Brown is in Egypt with them. Comedian Amai Titi produced something for the team. <laughs> Upcoming hip hop artist Gibbs Tivak belted his titled The Warriors. He told Zetian Sport what motivated him to come with the piece. Being in love with the Warriors, so I thought of the teacher and I thought maybe I can make a song since I'm a musician. And I thought a song to show much love, to show support for the nation. Zimbabwe is participating at the finals for the fourth time in their history and this time they have set surpassing the group stage as a minimum target. Yeah, it's it's going down. Let me try. This is what the Gips <laughs> Tabak was doing. Mel, there's a challenge for you there. Yes. Uh, because I thought by now you would have released the song, you know, dedicated to the Warriors. Yeah. But you heard from that guy. Yeah. Can you throw uh, bars like that? I, I'm, I'm hoping that today if we win, I'll, I'll, I'll have some lyrics for the song. Because apparently I'm waiting for a win. I'm still waiting for a win. Or maybe you can borrow lines from uh, Gibbs. Yes, Tabak. Yes, definitely. Why not? Why not? <laughs> I think it's, it's, it's well appreciated what our musicians have done or are doing. And uh, I would want uh, probably for them to go a little bit further, like to get involved in the fundraising, where they can actually do a show to fundraise for the Warriors before they actually had gone to Egypt. It would have been even more. We would not have those challenges that are happening in camp if they had helped that way. But thumbs up mm -hmm. to the uh, musicians that have done their part. Right. A <laughs> hip-hop song, a hip-hop song. <laughs> For the Warriors, it's also we are used, you know, to my anthems like mm -hmm. Yavanya Goju, You can sing it any time. Mm -hmm. um, go Warriors, go! You can sing it any, any time. Mm -hmm. Can you really follow through with this song, hip hop? Well, I'm not really a fan of hip hop, but uh, I think the, the, the young men tried. 
he really tried. Uh, well, maybe if I can listen to it twice, uh, three times, uh, well, maybe I will like it. But uh, more mentioned the, the idea of uh, musicians <laughs> trying to probably raise funds for the Warriors. I, I thought the Warriors had enough funds. Oh, for ah, you doing. don't start. I, I, they don't I, even go I will, there. I, I will stop. On you that, know, they I know it's a sensitive uh, situation. They haven't been paid as we are speaking. What are you talking about? But they the, don't have funds. But the, fa the funds ah, were there. Oh, come, come on. Come were they not there? <laughs> there no. are a lot of conflicting statements <laughs> that are coming through from I think that, that's that's Maybe saying. the players were not given uh, the money they were supposed but to get. If, but if, I think they were there. If the musicians would do that, it would the funds would directly go to the players. I thought that would be better. Than the fans going via via. Mm. So this guy is oh, talking. So, so most point is that um, whenever the fans are raised, they should go directly to the players. So I think we are agreeing in a way. The fans were there. I'm well, not the, agreeing with the, you. The issues to do with the fans are for another time. <laughs> why, for another why, why show. Why don't you start by throwing bars? <laughs> I will after the show. What after I the will. show? Or rather after on, the no, no on the show. Anyway, Howard, we asked the fans again on what they think will be the outcome from this match, and this is what they had to say. Warriors lost their first opening game of the 2019 Afghan finals in Egypt against the hosts. They now face Uganda in their second match of Group A. And what is a do or die for Zimbabwe? We are now in the streets of Harare to talk to some of the Warriors fans and hear what they have to say. Egypt, I see Uganda is no winner. It is one of the good and best players that we have pa pa ma pa team here. It's the improved strength force. I hope we've got a chance because if you look before uh, that, that game, raka tapo tamba, yeah, it dominated. Get my chances of winning Zimbabwe, but the confidence, the guys are good strength force. The strength force is a I think we'll achieve. We can win against um, Uganda, but uh, I think we're going to have to work uh, more harder than what we did against Egypt. I need to approach a 2-0 by Uganda to win. We're going to win a 2-0 uh, without fail. Backward, never, forward, ever. Impossible is nothing. We are going to win against Uganda, maybe by 2-0. I'm, I'm sure 2-0. The uh, end result will be 2-1. 2-1 in favor of In favor of Zimbabwe. Uganda are not as strong as Egypt, but the fact that they won their opening game against DRC means they have less pressure getting into this game. Reporting for ZTN Sport, I'm Shamin Chaswega in Harare. Now, quickly to just look at some of the comments that we have on our Facebook page now. Uh, Blessing Nazi is saying Chigova and Chipez is a For set pieces, because Uganda scored from dead ball situations versus DRC. Chris Watcher is saying Sunday Chizamba is a terrible coach. Yeah, his team selection today is a suspect and must be investigated. The white bench, <laughs> Muletsi, and uh, play players who are obviously inferior playing Kamsoko and Karuru while benching Mahachi is a scandal. I don't know about a scandal, but this is what's <laughs> happening on uh, on Facebook. Uh, let's go on to the fans. You know that way. Go with the two goals to new, or maybe three goals to new. Yeah, I would go with three goals to new. Overly ambitious, don't no, you think? No, uh, I think the way. Scandalous, but you know <laughs> that guy that Mofu they are talking about is the guy who took us there. So the scandal we are talking about is because he took us there. Mugoy, your prediction for this game? Against Tanzania, they they are a team that can actually concede goals, and I don't see them really uh, uh, putting up an effort, uh, the kind of effort that was put by Egypt, to, who are actually the home team. This we are all at a neutral venue. Before you do your thing, uh, prediction. I predict two one in favor of the Warriors. Don't say Uganda, please. Warriors. <laughs> <laughs> who's, going two one. who's going to score? Uh, <laughs> that's a tricky one. <laughs> But a 2 1 a win is what I'm expecting. Well, Did you, Howard? You, you, you want my prediction? Yes. Zimbabwe and Uganda will play tonight at 7 p.m. 
and the outcome. And we'll see you after 90 minutes. That's, ah, not, a prediction. that's not a prediction. That's what's going to happen, <laughs> ladies. It's not... Anyway, our time is running out, Howard. <laughs> You are watching The Couch on Zeti and thank you for being part of this production. Thank you to Forme for dressing us. I'm sure you can see everybody is looking dapper on set from Beu, Mugore, Mo, Samantha, yeah. Need uh -huh. I say more, yeah? <laughs> thank you very much for joining us. Beu, so I don't forget you. So I know for what you know is we are. We are. We are. I don't know. <laughs> there, are, there are some guys who don't like that song. Yes. Who would rather you close with Emma. Yeah. But because I say so. Okay. Please, we are. Definitely. We are the Rudorune continuity, Chikarambana to Zokirana, Rambana to Zokirana. Rudorune continuity, Uya and the Coupe. Rudorune continuity, Chikarambana to Zokirana, Rambana to Zokirana. Rudorune continuity. Tumbo Uzana Jacupenga. Tashaya Mumbachi Kutsenga. To end the sun, come up and let us see. Gonna take you out to Iri Itzenga. Ino ziva uno dida. Ini ni no kuda. Kurama na kushifta fokasi. Kute madinga akaendi ripogasi. Ini patronazi. Oya ndi kupe. Rudo rune continuity. Chikaramba na tuzokira na ramba na tuzokira na. Rudo rune continuity. Oya ndi kupe. Rudo rune continuity, chikaramba na tuzukira na ramba na tuzukira na. Rudo rune continuity, ukandi biki razimboza, di no no fita pana loza, di katama usambu kwatan di no no fita buten di rore gari no di poza. Ma mimi mumba usafeka, ma dinga ano zobuchega, di chemo yangu pa kupfeka di no koshe sa gemen di direzi one micheka. Ya karebesa, uu usafu kanda nwa kugeza, babuiro. Ora, uya ndi kupe. Rudo rune continuity, tikaramba na tuzogira na ramba na tuzogira na. Rudo rune continuity, uya ndi kupe. Rudo rune continuity, tikaramba na tuzogira na ramba na tuzogira na. Rudoru ne kundi dinoda tu da na na ne we tichimbora mba na 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 na